We know life has changed for everyone, business owners included, and News 5 is here to help Southern Colorado rebound from this pandemic. Tonight, I'm taking you to the Colorado Springs Relax the Back store, where the owners are finding new ways to get customers inside in the midst of COVID-19. After weeks of waiting, the doors are unlocked and the open sign is on once again. We were having a great month <laughs> before things slowed down and then came to a screeching halt. Jeanette Graham and her husband bought this store and two more in the Denver area back in 2008, right as the recession began. They say they didn't know any better back then about navigating these kind of difficult times, but this is a whole other ball game. For us in the beginning, it was a lot of things are made in China and so our supply was shortened a little bit or there were longer wait times for certain products. But then it hit here and their stores had to close. Like many other small businesses, their biggest issue was needing to make money today to pay yesterday's bills and being a specialty shop selling health and wellness items to make people more comfortable. They couldn't make money off, say, to go orders at this point. So then we start reaching out to those people that we owe money to and say, can you wait? How long can you wait? What can we, you know, and we try to work with those people to just have them wait because that's what we're all doing right now. We're all waiting. They say a lot of people worked with them and with others. They just paid what they could. The grants laid off their dozen or so employees and immediately enrolled for several loans and received the federal payroll protection program. The interesting thing is that the clock starts the minute that your loan is approved. So we are paying employees not to work. While closed, they did phone consultations and sold a little bit online. They've seen an increased need for home office supplies, as any of you working from home may now realize it's not as comfortable as you might have thought. A lot of people are working from home and they've realized that the couch is not an office chair and it's comfortable for maybe 20 minutes, but not for eight hours. And so we've worked with people on what space do you have? Where does it hurt? What do you need? How can we help you ergonomically work better from home? Now that they're back open, the concern is how does a specialty shop thrive in this market? We've had a lot of sleepless nights thinking about how we're going to survive. Um, again, being open gives us that chance to survive. Stop everything and then start everything again. They're keeping things even cleaner than before, wearing masks, wiping down pens, sanitizing the point of sale after each purchase, they're checking with the CDC and health departments for best practices guidelines and even going a step further for their customer base, which tends to skew a bit older. We've been doing one on one appointments with people, and I think they've really appreciated the fact that they can be the only person in the store. The Grams know they are not alone in this and say they'll continue treading water as long as they need to to get through this. And as we work together to rebound from this pandemic, whatever your situation may be, News 5 is here to help. Send us an email, rebound at koaa.com.